So today we have a little date day. So me and Erin just went to Vinny's Cafe. I say Vinny's Cafe even though it's literally the Vin is called, but for some reason I just call it Vinny's. Anyway, went there, I got the cutest little cake that I'm gonna, well, it's a brownie, first of all, liar. It's apparently like the fudgiest brownie in Glasgow. I'll be the one that determines that, don't you worry. That man was just staring at me for no reason. It's not like I'm filming and talking to myself in the car. Anyway, so we're currently um, in like the West End area. Um, I think, honestly, I've got no idea. I just drove here. Um, and I think we're gonna go through some charity shops, we do a little bit of shopping. Anyway, we're gonna basically go do some shopping and then later on today, we have an event um, with Lush. So Lush has invited us over to an art event.
every Tuesday. Good morning. It's around 10 o'clock. I've been up for like an hour. Um, I had some breakfast. Yeah, last night we were at the Lush event. I didn't really film much after the event. We basically just went home. We got given some goodie bags. Not looked inside yet. It was a really lovely event to go to. It was really positive. We got to learn a lot about Lush and especially a lot about their note wraps. That's what we got invited for because they were working with local charities to make these knot wraps called the I Can't Help It, I Like Art and it's currently on from the 31st to the 4th of November. I did buy one of the knot wraps before I get into the goodie bag. Um, me and Erin decided to buy this knot wrap because it was adorable. So this was design number 397. It was made in 2023 and it's called Nice Bath Time for Ducks. But how adorable is that? Lush was kind enough to give us goodie bags and some other knot scarves, so I thought I would just show you guys them. I look a little bit of a riot today, I'm so sorry. We kind of avoided, after our Halloween gaff, we kind of avoided tidying day right after Halloween, which would have been Saturday. I tidied the whole living room, but didn't take down any decorations. So I like put all the like party stuff away, any drinks, food, anything that was lying about was tidied, cleared and done. And then yesterday I started taking down Halloween decorations, but I was in a rush to leave the house and I kind of just threw them about and I feel like the house looks an absolute riot again. So today I'm going to be sorting that. So I'm just looking around right now and it's a riot. So I'm going to be solving that. That's my plan today. But anyway, so we got given um, this Lush bag. We got given one each. I love a tote bag, so I will be loving this. I'm going to take the two items out and we put all of our stuff in here. So we got two each. So this bag will be reused, reused and reused. It's solid. Let's just start with this one. The first thing we got was Yognog, which is a shiver gel. This is a glittery shiver gel and it smells sweet and slightly spicy, apparently. I did smell this at the event and it smells amazing. Oh my God. It smells like it should be a candle. Like I would light this in our kitchen. Glittery. Next we have cinnamon roll bath bomb. I had to make sure it was a bath bomb because it doesn't say. Oh, so this looks like, I will maybe pop it up on the screen, but there's a bath bomb I love from Lush. Is it the refresher it's called? And it basically looks like this, but it's pink and purple, I want to say. And it smells like snow fairy. So this is the same idea, but it's cinnamon. The next one is a snow fairy soap. So I'm such a basic girly when it comes to Lush. I've tried like a handful of other products, but mostly I try the Snow Fairy products. Let's be real, it is the best scent ever. Oh my God, I have the body spray of the Snow Fairy because it smells so good. Next we have a bath bomb and it's Groovy Fairy it's called. Oh, so this one's broken up a little, so I'm gonna just lift out like what I can. Okay, so I'm not gonna like lift it up too much from the bag. That smells so nice. I think it's like a bubble bar more than a bath bomb. Then this one is the Father Christmas sheet mask. I've never had a sheet mask from Lush. Oh, so you can use this more than once. It says how to use, cleanse your face, remove dirt. While it's damp, pop on the mask for up to 10 minutes. And then if you want to use it again, you can reuse it for seven days, but just put it back in this wrap and pop it back in the fridge. That's amazing. It is like, red inside. I don't know if you can see that. Not wrap that this one was tied in was Christmas Bobbles, which was design number 433. The next one we have is this one. It's a Halloween gift knot. So I'm guessing there's going to be Halloween stuff in here. I was right. First we have the Lord of Misrule. This is bright green. Oh my goodness. Looks like paint. That smells lovely though. It smells delightful and it is bright green. Oh my goodness. Next we have the Monster Octopus Shower Jelly. This is vanilla and black currant and it is an octopus. Oh my god. These, the shower jellies, I command you for using them in the shower but I have had a shower jelly once and I couldn't stop dropping it flies all over the place in the shower. I think you're meant to take like little parts of it off and not use like the whole thing. I, I would show you it, but it's gonna go all over my carpet. So please use your imagination when it comes to this one. Next we have Ghost in the Dark Soap. I don't know why I said 
filled when I open them when I'm gonna open them anyway, but who cares? This is adorable! <laughs> oh my god, that smells so nice. It's like a very, very light citrusy smell. <laughs> Like snorting it. Second last thing in this bag is the Ghost Day bath bomb. I'm guessing it's a bath bomb again. It just says bath on it, so it could be a bubble bar. But oh, I saw these online. So these are the Ghost Day bath bombs that I have saw all over online because when you release it into the water, the colour comes out from under it, but the Ghost Day kind of stays the same. That is adorable. I think after we tidy this house, we need to have a little, um, a lush bath with some goodies. I think that's gonna be on the agenda today. Okay, the last thing in this bag is Demon in the Dark Soap. I've never heard of this. Oh my God, it's mint. Okay, I need to get my girlfriend to smell this when they're home because they are obsessed with mint flavored and smells. I remember our first Christmas together, I made a mint box and I collected everything minty that you could think of and put it in like a green box for them. It's just pure peppermint and spearmint. I feel like I'm coming in the cold because I'm really having to like snort these. Sorry, my camera was gonna die there. Yeah, that is amazing. Oh my God. Okay, so these were the two that I got and then the two that Erin got, we mostly had similar stuff but there was one or two things that are different, so I'm gonna show you guys them. So before I do that, this was the Halloween knot. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this next one, and if there's anything different in these ones that are my girlfriends, I'll show you them. But if there's nothing different, I don't think I'll show you. So we have the ghost symbol, so funny so. Okay, so this one's the exact same as the first one. It's all the same except there's just a smaller cutting of the mini soap that was last. Oh my god, that is an amazing Lush haul. I've never had so many Lush products at once. Honestly, I knew that they gave us gift bags. I thought we were like, that's just, that's really nice. Really, really, really nice of them. I love Lush. I've always liked Lush. Um, it's always like a little treat. Um, so having this many Lush products is insane, but I thank you so much. <laughs> that's honestly so lovely of them. I would have been happy with nothing, so a big bonus. Um, that's really nice, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna store these all away and then probably start tidying, and you guys can come along with me. <laughs> So, hi girlies. Last you saw of me was tidying the house, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so Erin, that was yesterday. Today is Wednesday and I have been really boring and just been filming all day. I just got up, got ready and started filming. I like to batch shoot my content. So I do it a few times a week and I shoot seven to 10 
videos, any other content that I need to do. And it basically means that I have like a backlog of content. And I also have time. I say that as if I'm like doing anything else but this currently, but I also have time for when brand work comes in. I can be like quick on it um, because I don't have to like film other content to go up on the days. Anyway, not that you probably even care about it. Oh, maybe you do. Maybe it's interesting. If you are interested in like my job, it's weird to say now, but it's been my job for since I finished college. But anyway, let me just breathe. I think I went too many monsters. But I've been filming all day. This lighting situation is terrible. So the lights are back out. I am in full content creation mode. I have three lights in this house. Only one I have up currently. I've got my tripod set up and I have basically just been dancing about <laughs> shooting videos. No branded stuff today, just like fun content that I like to shoot. Um, and my room looks at riot. So we need to sort that, but I'm not in my pajamas. So clearly I'm leaving the house. Me and Erin have been trying to see the Saw movie for what feels like forever. Um, we keep on trying to time it for when Erin's off of work and it's semi close to the time because it's usually at like nine o'clock at night. Um, and it wasn't on at the weekend, which is so strange. It's like been on during the week, but the timings are so annoying. Like I know it's a horror movie and you probably wanna go see it in the dark, but it's dark now at like five, so get in the times. Anyway, so we keep on putting up that it's on at half six and then taking it off. And I don't think it's that busy that it's like overbooked because it would just say it was overbooked. Anyway, we're Odie and Girlies, we're VIPs, um, which gets you so spoiled, by the way. We've been putting it up and up, we've decided to say fuck it the last, past few months to be Odie and Girlies uh, VIP. And we go to the Glasgow Lux Key one and then we went to Bre the Brayhead one and we were like, this just isn't it anymore. It's not comfortable. Like even when you, we went to like the view or there's different cinemas, Cine World, like, even though the seats were just like normal seats, they were comfortable, they had cushion. We went to the Brayhead Odeon. Girlie, I would not be paying monthly for that cinema. I'm glad we have the Glasgow one because that is not it. We always liked to go to the Glasgow one because it was like kind of the same price, but you got like the luxe like seats, like the recliner seats. Um, even the, I wouldn't even care if they didn't recline, I just like a little bit of cushion. The ones in the very head one are not really given. They're given like, see when you sit on the bench in primary school and it's so uncomfortable, it, it's giving that and you're like so squished. Anyway, um, random little rant, but we're going to the cinema tonight. It says it's on at 10 past six, thank God, because they're usually at like half nine and I don't know about you, but I am, we went and saw the Eras tour at like half nine girly that took it out of us like that is so late i don't know <laughs> what age am i but that is that is late i'm sorry for like a cinema and then you're not getting home until like 11. anyway rant 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 i'm saying a little bitchy mood i guess today but anyway we're gonna go see saw if it's still on if it fucking doesn't disappear anyway so i just got ready um the last video i filmed was just like a comfy little basically this um this is oh my god it's like in this it's in my brain i can't remember what it's called Bone tea. Oh my god, this is bone tea. I don't know why that beat from my mind because I love bone tea. Like the quality of their stuff is so fucking good and the price is really good. Like for their basics, I'm like slay. Anyway, bone tea. Uh, this is gifted. I got this gifted to me, but I would buy it because it's so slay. Like I was gonna buy Ed in the this jumpsuit that I'm wearing. It's so comfortable. But another thing about going to the cinema is always fucking freezing. It's not the vibe. It's usually really cold, so I've layered up. Um, but yeah, before I go, I need to tidy this room again. Oh my god, I tidied the whole flat yesterday, and because when I film, I just chuck clothes everywhere. Because like it just, especially on these days where the daylight is draining, it's like it was dark earlier and it's brightened up again. I don't even know what's going on. It needs to like sort itself out. It looks so depressing outside. There's not the slightest bit of saturation in that sky. It's white and grey. It's not the vibe. The trees look beautiful though, obviously. But when they go start to go and it's just branches and grey skies, I'm gonna... Can't say that on YouTube. Anyway, so I need to like sort this room before I leave because I can't come home with this. This is a riot. So I'll probably just pop you up on a little speed camera like we did yesterday and we'll sort in here. Also, my dumbass tidied this whole house yesterday but the blinds were down um, in the bedroom and I completely forgot the windowsill where I put all of the cans and bottles from the gaff. Like, duh. So I need to sort them as well because I didn't notice until I put the blinds up today. <laughs> Oops. Anyway.
I mean, to go shooting for Jenny as well, technically. I've never oh, shot for yeah. yeah. Do you prefer passing each other? <laughs> We're just going home now from the shoot. I didn't even speak before the, this, so it was probably just going into like literal videos of shooting. But anyway, um, we got there at like half nine um, and then started basically filming all day, which was kind of fun. I've never actually shot like that before. Um, it was a little awkward. My cheeks hurt from smiling so much. You had to like fake, not fake smile, like some of it was like hey, but it was like very exaggerative. Anyway, so now we're heading home. We've met up with some friends and we're gonna go take the doggies out because I'm so excited to take the dogs out. Also, my jumpsuit popped. And it wasn't on me while it popped, so it's not because I'm a fat bitch. <laughs> my jumpsuit popped. Um, and it happens with my other jumpsuit and it probably says that I'm lying, but it also, that also wasn't on me as it happened. Um, so yeah, that's fun. So I had to like, I didn't have to, like I got this jumper and I've put it over it. It's not really giving, um, but that's fine. Anyway, so we're going to the flat and I'm basically gonna put jeans on and then we're gonna meet up with our friends. So it is Friday today. Yesterday we were at Glasgow Fort doing that photo shoot thing. Some of the pictures have came out and if more of them's came out by the time editing, I'll put them in. But Erin got roped into it. Even though apparently they didn't want to, even though they didn't say no, so tough day. Um so yeah, I don't know where we're going, but probably going to get bakery. I could have got a monster, but I didn't grab one. Oopsie. Um pretty chill day today. Okay, so we got our little cinnabon. We went to Space Coffee, what's it called? Please don't drop it, please don't drop it, please don't I drop know. it. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm a cinnabon Ooh. connoisseur. That looks nice and soft. Aren't I? Mm. AKA my favourite is Tesco's, like one pound one. Ooh, that's nice. That's bloody lovely. So, I would give this. I'm so biased though, like I think we all taste amazing. A nine out of 10. It's so good. Um, what sometimes when we go to like bakeries, they try and be too fancy. True. I'm a basic. I'm a basic bitch. I don't want pecans through it. I don't want not. I, I don't want like a fancy icing that has like pistachios in it. I just want a cinnabon that's hot. We're only a ten minute drive from the next place. Oh my god. I'm getting spoiled today. I guarantee a feeder. Something is something I like in it. I got cola bottles. If you don't know, Erin is a picky eater. I wish I wasn't. Because that looks really good. I know. I don't touch it. I don't oh. know. It's, it's just mm -hmm. normal icing. No, it's not. Erin's it favourite really cake good. is the fairy cakes with just icing on top. Normal icing with water. Some people use milk. I'd try it. I wouldn't. Okay. I don't even try different brands of them other than like Tesco and Morrison's own make one. Yeah. They changed them in one of the shops and I can't eat them anymore. <gasps> puppy! Puppy beak? Ikea! <gasps> Ikea puppy! And that is gorgeous. Oh! Do I need to leave the car for something? Oh my goodness! Yes, you should put it. I'm like, I'm at the window down. Did anyone just come in? And so the <laughs> cinnamon bun! Do, do you want a cinnamon bun? Guys, the paws on this thing. They look so Stop. sturdy and thick. Like this son of them. That was a good yeah. descriptor. I'm, I'm going ham on this, boys. Okay, next we have the monster to wash it down. I personally think in my rich taste buds, they're so like profound, my taste buds, you know? They're so fancy and whatever. I don't think there's anything better than a monster after a good meal or during a meal. See sometimes, see if I got put in front of me the fanciest 
of platters with the most beautiful food, I'd want a monster to accompany it. A white monster to be exact. Just out of the fridge, freezing cold. But not too cold where it loses its flavour. There is difference. <laughs> I've learned. I can have no wee white monster with my rolling muck. Are it's you so like good. Like scone roll? Because it's not pure flavourful, it's just nice. Anyway, I'm probably going to finish this and I don't know where we're going next but we'll see and you guys, guys will see. But that was space coffee. It was so pretty inside. But I... Erin, look! Look! Oh! oh! Quick, quick! Oh! oh! Look at the baby!